The 9-11 terror suspects are standing trial once again at the military facility of America's War on Terror prison, just days before the 20th anniversary of the attacks. The trial comes after proceedings were suspended for nearly 17 months due to the coronavirus pandemic. Justice and retribution for the suspects and the families of nearly 3,000 victims remain hanging. So who are the five suspects and what are their alleged roles in the 9-11 terror attacks? KSM, a Pakistani, had popped up on the CIA's terrorist watch list several times before the 9-11 terror attacks and even just days before the fateful day. On August 28, 2001, the CIA received an intelligence report that someone named Mukhtar or Abdul Rahman Al Gamdi was recruiting and training terrorists to carry out attacks in the US. The names were associated with Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. The US intelligence community reportedly said they had never heard of KSM back then. However, KSM was named for its alleged involvement years earlier in 1996 in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. Several of KSM's cousins were already under US intelligence radar following the 1993 attacks, but the connection between 9-11 and KSM was never made. Ali Abdul Aziz Ali or Amar Al Baluchi is the nephew of KSM. He is accused of transferring money from the UAE where he worked to hijackers of the planes that crashed into the Twin Towers in the US. He was also indicted in 1996 for his role in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. Walid bin Atash or Khalid is accused of training two hijackers in 1999 on hand-to-hand -hand fighting, researching flights and smuggling knives onto flights. Ramzi bin Al Ship is accused of building the Hamburg cell in Germany, researching flight schools and sending money to the hijackers of the 9-11 attack. He also acted as the messenger between KSM and Al-Qaeda leaders on the plan and chosen date of the attack. Mustafa Al Hasawi is accused of aiding hijackers with money and arranging for their travel. The suspects have defended themselves against terrorism charges and confessions acquired by the US investigators on the plank of alleged torture. The defense is also demanding the release of classified information on the detention of the five suspects. 